What is up dudes, it's Jamie E. Hills, got another Medal of Honor gameplay for you guys, it's on the map Kandahar Marketplace, a nice team assault, 37 on 8, I'm going to let you guys watch this footage, this isn't the reason why I'm here, I have some fresh news, Josh Olin, the community manager for Treyarch, has been running a segment on his Twitter account called Ask JD, and what Call of Duty community members could do is ask him any question they like regarding Black Ops, and he was doing his best to answer these questions. Now, some of the questions that were asked were ones that I had on my mind, and the answers that were given have got me really excited about the release of this game. So, I'm going to get into some of the questions and answers that caught my eye, and I think that you guys would want to know. Now, my last video I posted, which was yesterday, was a video addressing the question I got asked a lot, and that was, should I wait for the re release of Black Ops, or should I buy Medal of Honor now? And I gave my pros and cons for each of the game, and uh, my thoughts, so go and check it out if you haven't already. But I gave Medal of Honor credit for the fact that it was just a straight up shooter, you and your gun skill, nothing to really help you out, like no perks, and um, no extremely overpowered killstreaks. Now, Modern Warfare 2 attempted to address the part of the community who wanted this type of shooter, and they brought out a barebone playlist. And what that playlist did is it just disabled the killstreaks. Now, a user asked Josh Olin, will there be an actual proper bare bones playlist? Meaning, no perks, no killstreaks, kind of like an MLG style of competitive gaming setup. And Josh Olin replied, yes, there will be a proper true bare bones playlist. So that's pretty exciting, and I think it's going to render Medal of Honor obsolete pretty quickly, because if you feel like playing some Call of Duty, uh, well if you feel like playing a game that doesn't have any bullshit perks or no bullshit killstreaks then there's more of a chance you'll play Call of Duty because it's got a lot more game modes, a lot more maps and most likely all your friends will have this game as well so yeah I can see how Medal of Honor is going to grow old pretty quickly with the release of Black Ops now. Another thing that was really pissing me off about Modern Warfare 2 was the noob tubing. So we all know that they've taken out one man army from Black Ops, but it's also just been announced that there will be a time delay for from spawn for um, when a game matches for when you can use your noob tube. So, you know, I can relate this best to Search and Destroy. There's been several times I've played Search and Destroy on Wasteland or Afghan, and people use a noob tube so much that they can actually aim it to land in the spawn, and as soon as the game starts, you're dead. And that would just piss me off too much. I couldn't handle waiting three minutes to, you know, the next game starts just for the same thing to happen again. So, what they've done is they've implemented a kind of system what they do for the kill streaks. So, for example, if Modern Warfare 2 you're playing Search and Destroy, you have a Predator missile, there's about a 10 second delay before you can actually use it. So, it allows people to spread out of their spawn. So, it's going to be the same type of system for um, the noob tube or grenade launcher. I call it noob tube because that's what it is. Also, Scavenger will no longer replenish the noob tube, so, yeah, best of luck with that. Use another attachment, use a silencer, use a red dot sight, don't use a grenade launcher, it pisses everybody off. I reckon they should just do what they did in Call of Duty 4 and make it the perk 1 slot. It really uh, drives people away from using it. I know this next one is old news, but there is no stopping power, no juggernaut. So, I found myself, when I was playing games that weren't in, on a hardcore playlist, so normal core, soft core, whatever you want to call it, I felt that I would have to use stopping power in order to just keep up with um, everyone else, because everyone else is using stopping power. So now this frees up the ability to use another perk in that particular slot that you would, so that's another good feature that I welcome. Something I find really interesting, and it's going to piss people off, and it's going to make some people happy, and that is, I'll quote, No sniper rifle will be useful for quick scoping. When you sight in, sights won't be perfectly centered. Now this is an amazing change by Treyarch and it's really gutsy because it's going to piss some people off and it's going to make a lot of other people happy. So one of the key skills, well, I don't know if one, one of the techniques to quick scoping is you have to make sure that the enemy is in the center of the crosshair before you actually perform the um, quick scope. But now when you aim down your um, sniper rifle, not only is it aiming down the sight slower as if you weren't using Slider Hand Pro, but now that, uh, you know, it won't be zooming into the exact center of the crosshair. So it's going to make it really difficult and Treyarch are really against quick scoping. There is also 100% going to be a zombie game mode. 
Um, there's also 15 prestige tiers with 50 levels in each. There's no tanks. And kill streaks do not count towards each other. Now, this is something that I've been a culprit of doing. And I'm sure all of you out there who play Modern Warfare 2 do the same thing. You run around, you get 5 kills, you get your Predator Missile, you go hide somewhere, call in the Predator Missile, or most of the chances you'll get 2 kills, which will get you at your Harrier, throw your Harrier down, sit down, wait 20 seconds, that'll get you 4 kills, and you've got your AC-130 on a Rampage, already up to like 25 kill streak within a few minutes of the game. Now, no longer the kill streaks add up. So, for example, if I was playing Modern Warfare 2, I'll use that as an example for no kill streaks in Black Ops. If you got your Predator missile and it got you two kills, sure, you'd have seven kills, but you'd have to get two additional gun kills or equipment kills in order to actually get the next uh, kill streak. So, that's a welcome thing for me as well. It's going to be more difficult for people to get higher scores. And it uh, puts. Yeah, it. Um, puts people off camping to get their kill streaks up. Another critical key that they've introduced, and I love this, is the ability to report hackers. So if you see someone exploiting a glitch or doing a teleport glitch or boosting, you can actually go to their gamer tag or ID and click report user. And what Treyarch will do is it will see that you flagged someone. It'll go into the theater mode um, feature and watch what that player was doing. And if that player was in fact exploiting a glitch or boosting, they will be punished and Treyarch, say they were using a teleport glitch, Treyarch will look at fixing it. So, um, I, you know, I props Treyarch for proactively looking at ways to improve their game. Also, the stats will be a lot like Bad Company 2, more in-depth for each weapon, and you can also compare with friends, so that'll be interesting. Um, one thing that kind of puts me off though is the second chance and what second chance is it's a perk where it's similar to last stand You get shot you go into second chance mode. You, you know, you're sitting there with your pistol and Other players can actually come up to you and revive you. So I don't know if I really like that I'm, We're gonna see how it's gonna work Maybe not many people use it if everyone uses it. I'm sure they're gonna fix it last um, thing that caught my eye and it reminds me of the days of playing Counter-Strike, where I used to go to internet cafes, pay $1.50 for an hour, and just play Counter-Strike with my friends after school. When I got home, though, I didn't have access to the internet on my computer. So what I used to do is play with bots. And in Black Ops, they have a feature called Combat Training. And what it actually allows you to do is to play a multiplayer-like, you know, same maps, game modes, whatever, but you're playing with artificial intelligence. So it's kind of like bots. So if I go online and there's no friends and I'm there's something that comes up with this game that's pissing me off and I just feel like playing a bit of multiplayer I'll probably play a bit of bots why not or if you want to try out a new gun get used to it before taking it into the real world play a bit of bots anyways guys I want to hear your thoughts on this drop a comment down below and let's talk in the comments catch you later